few showers, even a few rumbles of thunder making their way through parts of the valley. But here in the Fargo-Moorhead areas, we take a live look outside on the Corbinado.com Valley SkyCam. Part of the Storm Team SkyCam network. Just a few clouds right now, but we could see a few raindrops in the next couple of hours. Here in Fargo, we've dipped down to the mid-60s after topping out in the upper 70s. Winds out of the northeast. It's a little breezy out there. You want to hold on to your hat as you head out the door. If you missed the sunset just a little bit ago here in the Fargo-Moorhead area, it was a nice one. The sunset with those clouds out there and yeah, a gorgeous day today here in the Fargo-Moorhead area and only just a few clouds right now. And again, that chance for a few showers later on. We'll show you those on the radar here in just a moment. 54 up in Langdon, 54 Thief River Falls and Bemidji. It's 52 already in Roseau and in Bedette, a mix of some 50s and some 60s across the region. And right where you've got that temperature difference is where we've got the rain. We'll show you that here in just a moment. Some gusty winds here in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Also some gusty winds points off towards the west and northwest. Some of those wind gusts over 30 miles per hour up in the Devil's Lake area. Clouds continue to slide off towards the south and the southeast. Underneath those clouds, we do have some showers and even a few rumbles of thunder around the Grand Forks area. This area will continue to slide off towards the south and the western edge may just clip the Fargo-Moorhead area with a few sprinkles later on. I don't think we'll see any thunderstorms. I think those will slowly weaken as they move off towards the south and the southeast. Across the northern plains, we've got that activity in our area. Also some showers and thunderstorms just east of the Sioux Falls area, making their way southeast through northwestern portions of Iowa. Off towards the west, showers and a few thunderstorms continue over the Rocky Mountains. The southeastern U.S. seeing some rain and Keeping their eyes on the Gulf, it's a tropical depression. Harvey has formed out there, expected to become a tropical storm and affect the Gulf Coast, maybe even a weak hurricane in a couple of days before Harvey comes on shore. For us, got those nuisance showers and even a few thunderstorms out there. And again, they're going to drift off towards the south, maybe clipping the Fargo area. And as we hit through the overnight hours, though, that will dissipate. And then as we hit towards tomorrow morning, we'll see some potentially some locally dense fog forming out there. So keep that in mind of traveling late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And it's going to be a chilly one up in northern Minnesota, down into the low 40s. Maybe a few isolated areas getting into the upper 30s as we start off your Thursday. Now, as we head through the rest of the day, the fog will burn on off and we'll see some partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and a little bit cooler tomorrow with high temperatures in the upper 60s into the mid 70s and maybe an isolated sprinkle across the far southern portions of the valley elsewhere. Some variable cloudiness throughout the day. Here in Fargo, we'll start out the day with some partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, temperatures in the low 50s, maybe some patchy fog out there to deal with. But by lunchtime, that fog will have burned off. Temperatures warming on up into the mid to upper 60s and topping on out into the mid 70s. Picture of the day, thanks to John for sending this in a beautiful shot of some sunset and clouds up in the Crookston area. Going to use that as the backdrop to our seven day forecast. And after some early morning fog, some sunny skies later on, mid 70s, 80 on Friday. Over the weekend, going to have to deal with some showers and storms, particularly on Saturday. But then after that, next week, it looks like a quiet one with temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. At least Friday is a nice start to our weekend, though. Yeah, it looks like a nice quiet end to the week, but a little bumpy over the weekend. All right. Thank you, Robert.